They are actually about an eighth of an inch across and D-shaped, flat on one side, rounded on the other. And that, and that D can be, can have the uh, flat part either, either down or up. In fact, most commonly it's up, okay? And that corresponds to the cross section of the insect, kind of flat on top and rounded on the underneath side. So it makes no larger hole than it needs to emerge through. Okay. One thing that's a kelp to us many times is after the insect's been in the, in the tree for a couple of years, you will see the woodpeckers will find out that it's there and you'll see woodpecker damage on the outside of a trunk. There'll be little flakes of, of area hammered out and, and so on. It'll be very rough looking areas and this is due to woodpeckers going after the larvae. They are not efficient enough to control the, the problem but they are something that allows people looking for emerald ash borer to see that as an early warning sign that it may have emerald ash borer in that particular tree.